I do want to share a a a, a bit of condolences this week to macOS server since you mentioned it, John. Uh, perhaps it's time to pour one out for macOS server because it's no longer a thing. So that's you know um, the functionality. Yeah. What? Where was the? But yeah, if you were in the App Store, you would get a message saying, uh, "By the way, this is the last version that we're going to release." Right. Sorry. Right. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, there's no more no more macOS server, which really was just a GUI on top of, and I say just a GUI. At the time, this was kind of revolutionary. Uh, it was a GUI on top of all of those those Unix services that were there, and slowly it has it eroded to now nothing. So. Uh, you you would need. I mean, other, I mean they defeatured it. Correct. Yeah, I mean the the where Unit was going to die is when they defeatured it, and the only thing it would do is uh, MDM. Right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Before, I mean, it had you know, like I think a mail server and you know an LDAP server and uh, uh, everything servers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. No. It, well, and and all of those things are still there. It's just what we lost is the GUI to manage them. Uh, mm -hmm. That's all macOS server was really was. But it was a good GUI. I, I, I say mm -hmm. just, but it's probably dismissing the value of it. So right. for people like me who prefer not to use the terminal whenever they can, you know, it's like if yeah. there's a GUI, I, I'm more likely to choose that. Sure. So I'm sad to see that go, although I haven't been doing very much server stuff lately. Right. Well, even to that point, like system preferences is simply a GUI for things that you can do in the terminal. Uh, there, it's, it really is no different. It's it's just they, you know, all of Mac OS can be managed by editing plist files or, or setting defaults and, uh, and all of that from the terminal. It's just why would you bother to do that when it's right there in front of you? I mean, I, I say that as someone who manages all of my homebrew packages from the terminal uh, instead of using like cake brew or something. But I, I do that because all of the things that I use homebrew for are terminal based apps. So I figure well, that's I'm right here. It's fine. And plus, I can if I'm sitting on the couch, I can log into my other computers and do the updates of the you know, I can type brew update or something like that.